Hi everyone, it's Evangeline right here at eTrailer. And today we're taking a look at how the Thule Helium XT fits on the 2014 Toyota Prius V. So for your Toyota Prius V, you do have different options for hitch receivers. I currently have the two inch hitch on there, but I do see a lot of people with the inch and a quarter hitch receiver option. When you have that smaller receiver size, your options are limited for bike racks, especially the more premium ones. So this is a great option because you have that inch and quarter shank, the included two inch adapter, and you still have that dual wheel mount design and premium features like locks and a slightly higher weight capacity. The Thule Helium XT is very popular because of its name, Thule Helium. It means it's lightweight. It's easy to store in your garage, easy to install into your hitch, and easy to tilt away. So you have the lever underneath there. You just pull that lever, tilt this down, and now you are able to open up your hatch door even with your bikes on. So take a look at our clearances here pedals and handlebars. We just barely clear our handlebars, but we're still able to open it up. Now we can get into the hatch and hang out, change our shoes, grab our bags or our waters. To bring this back up, I always recommend maybe holding on to the rack if possible, lift it up, it snaps into place, and now you are ready to ride. So this is the dual wheel mount option, meaning that you can carry your bikes by the front and the rear wheels and there's zero frame contact. So if you have, let's say, a carbon fiber frame bike, perfectly fine. For those other bikes like step-through bikes or women's frame bikes, alternate frame bikes, this makes it easier as well. This style should make it faster for taking your bike off and putting it back on, although you are gonna be mindful of holding on to your bike as you do so. And you may have to use a little bit more force to press those buttons. So you do have an integrated cable lock on the end of each tray. This pops out all the way, and that way you can secure your bikes to the bike rack. It is on the thinner side for cable locks, but you can have it all keyed alike, so that's good news. So these are aluminum trays, which keeps everything lightweight, but also pretty sturdy. Now your weight capacity is gonna be 45 pounds per bike. Also note that this is where it starts ratcheting. So that way, if you have different wheelbases or bikes of different shape and size, then this should make it easier with just sliding it around on the tray to get the best fit for your handlebars and your saddles. So for the space this will take up, we measure from the bumper to the end of the rack, and that's gonna be 28 inches. Now that's a measurement to remember when you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. Now for the Prius V, this does have a hitch receiver that sits lower to the ground, so ground clearance is very important too. End of rack to the ground is 17 inches. Now this does drop down underneath the hitch and that's gonna be nine and a half inches off the ground. So you can see there is a slight shrink rise there when you go up those extremely steep driveways. That is something to consider. So if you're not going out on a bike ride just yet, but you also don't want to take your bike rack off, you could just fold it up against your vehicle. So the length it now adds in the folded up or compact position, it's gonna be from the bumper. The furthest point is now this knob and that's 11 and a half inches or almost one foot added to the back of your car. Big difference compared to when it was folded down. So this does not need any tools. You just have this knob which can be locked so with it and unlock, this tightens down inside that shank. And you also have this stinger here. So when you pop it into your hitch, you just pop that stinger in and that's secured. So no bolts, no extra pins that you gotta line up, just that knob and just lock it. So most bike racks with inch and quarter shanks and an adapter, they usually have that anti route bolt which takes out the side to side action, but not the up and down action. For the helium, whether it's up and down or side to side, it's a secure fit. Something to be mindful of is that your trays may move a little bit while your bike rack is solid. Now, something worth noticing is this looks really good on our car here, but that's mainly because the colors match. But other things to consider is if it covers your taillights. Here, our taillights are still visible. Our rear window is visible as well. This does cover our license plate and most of our backup camera though. 
So see how the backup camera is offset, but sits right where that tray is. If that being covered is a big deal, you can just drive around with it in a down position as an option. So my personal thoughts about the Thule Helium XT is it could be a great fit for you, especially if you're looking for something that is sleek, but most importantly, lightweight. If you're the only one that is installing the rack and maybe you can't lift that much, this might be the best option for you in terms of a dual wheel mount style that also fits into an inch and a quarter hitch receiver. Now, on the other hand, you are limited to a 45 pound weight capacity. If you have an extra heavy electric bike, this will not be enough. You may want to consider the Inno Tire Hold instead. That one is heavier, but it does have an inch and a quarter shank and up to a 60 pound weight capacity per bike. So there's definitely pros and cons for different types of bike racks. Hopefully this video showed you how well it fits with the Prius V and if it is a good fit for you. And that right there was a look at the Thule Helium XT two bike platform rack here on our 2014 Toyota Prius V. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoy the journey.